What is a lazy Susan and how do you use it? It's a great question and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by mycleaningconnection.com, which is a resource hub with a whole bunch of different kinds of things in there. Cleaning supplies, products, ideas, tips, blogs, podcasts, the whole nine yards. But if you're getting organized, there's a section in the organizing area for Lazy Susans. Now, Lazy Susans were originally created by Thomas Jefferson back in the 18th century. And he created them because his daughter, who sat at the end of the table, was always the last to be served. And she felt like she was not getting enough food because the rest of the family was eating the food before it got to her. So he created this big Lazy Susan, and I'll explain to you in a second what that is but he called it the dumb waiter because it would then spin and serve her so that she could have food before there was no food left. So Thomas Jefferson was the inventor in the 18th century of the Lazy Susan. All right, here's what a Lazy Susan is. It's a little plate, if you will, that has a spinner on the back of it. And the spinner allows you to put something on the front and then spin it around so that the person on the other side of you can receive what it is. So for example, I have a salt and pepper shaker here. And let's say that this was huge and we were sitting in a round or a square table and I wanted to pass it to you instead of reaching all the way over there, we'll pretend that this is huge. I would simply spin it and then what you need that's on this side is now on your side so that you can accept it, right? Okay, so the Lazy Susan just spins so that you don't have to do all the work. Okay. Now, the reason that we use Lazy Susans is because there are a lot of cupboards that have a corner in them. Now, if you put something way at the back of the corner, chances are you will never see it again. You will never use it, you will never see it again. So instead of stuffing stuff back in the corners of all of your kitchens, if you have a Lazy Susan and you want one that's small enough that it fits inside the cupboard and the cupboard door can close, but if you put a Lazy Susan in the corner of each of your cabinets, then you can spin your cabinets with, you can spin the Lazy Susan and you can get to the stuff that's at the back of the cabinets. So it's a really fun idea for organization. You can also use it in a refrigerator. I've seen lots of people that put these in the center of their refrigerator and they put things like mustard and mayonnaise and ketchup and all the different things that you need to make a sandwich on the Lazy Susan. Then when they go to make a sandwich, they reach what's in front, the mayonnaise and the mustard. Then they put it back, they spin the Lazy Susan and then they reach the pickles and you know, horseradish sauce or whatever else it is they're using for their sandwich. But all the ingredients for the sandwich are right there on one Lazy Susan. There are other people that have all of their cereal needs right there on a Lazy Susan. So it might be cream or milk or sugar or whatever and they have everything all in one spot and they just spin it, get what they need for their cereal, spin it back so that everything is all still organized and it's all on one shelf of the refrigerator. Now it's exciting when you start thinking about the opportunities that a Lazy Susan can provide you. Because think of all the different cupboards that you have and what is in those cabinets. There's a lot of stuff we have in our cabinets that we simply don't use because we forgot it was there, right? But if it's on a Lazy Susan and you can spin it, you can have four, five, six, eight, ten Lazy Susans in a single cabinet, depending on how big your cabinets are. You just keep spinning them and now you have accessibility to everything that's there. So that is what a Lazy Susan is. There are bigger decorative Lazy Susans that people put on their dining room tables. And they put things like salad dressing and uh, oil and vinegar and salt and pepper and things like that. So that the whole family that's eating, you just spin it as you need it and everyone can reach it to spin it themselves. So they're not saying, oh, can you please pass the salt? Can you please pass the pepper? Can you please pass this, that, or the other? So it's a perfect opportunity for everybody sitting at the dinner table to reach whatever it is they need simply by spinning the Lazy Susan and it just brings whatever it is closer to you so that you're not reaching across the table and you're not interrupting conversation by saying, hey, can you please pass me that? So a Lazy Susan, if you're not using them, I suggest that you do. They're also great for bathroom cabinets. They make smaller ones for bathroom cabinets as well. And it's great for underneath the bathroom sink because you can put your cleaning supplies on there, simply spin it, get what you need, put it back, spin it again. It's a great way to keep organized and to have what you need always on hand so that you are not reaching over stuff, you're not dripping stuff as you reach over stuff, and that you don't have stuff at the back of your cabinets and counters that you forgot that you had. 
So that's a lazy Susan. Thank you, Thomas Jefferson. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when he found it.